So you know how it is, you've unboxed your new computer, you've run through the Windows setup process, or maybe you needed to reinstall Windows on your existing device, and all that's left to do is to reinstall all of your applications. But you know, it's a real pain. You have to go to each vendor website, download the right package, then run the installer, follow through the installation process by pressing next, 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 and next again, and then wait for each program to install individually. So there has to be a better way to do that, to automate the whole process. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how you can quickly install all of your Windows apps in three simple steps. So I'm going to show you how to automate the whole process using the command line and a package manager. Now, unlike Linux, Windows doesn't have a built-in command line package manager. Now that is going to change in the future because Microsoft is working on a solution called Windows Package Manager that's currently in preview. So at some point in the future, I'll come back to that and see how it compares with the package manager that we're going to use today. Today we're going to use a product called Chocolaty. Now there is a free version and there is a paid version for organizations. Today we're going to use the free version. So let's jump over to the PC and see how it works. So the first step is to install the Chocolaty Package Manager. And to do that, I need a little bit of help from the instructions. So I'm going to start by clicking Install Now in the top right hand corner. And I'm going to scroll down the instructions and copy the command line here by clicking copy to clipboard. Now this is a PowerShell command and to run this command I need to open the PowerShell prompt on my PC with administrator permissions. So I'm going to type PowerShell into the search box on the taskbar and I'm going to click run as administrator. And now all I need to do is paste that command that we just copied from the Chocolaty website into the PowerShell command prompt and then press enter. And here now you can see that it's installing Chocolaty on my PC. Once Chocolaty has installed, all you need to do is close the PowerShell window and then reopen it again with administrator permissions. And the second step is to configure Chocolaty to install all of our applications without any confirmation. So here I'm going to run the Choco feature enable command and set it to allow global confirmation. And you can see that global confirmation is now enabled. The third step is to create a list of commands that will install the applications that I want on that system. On the screen here, you can see a series of Choco install commands. And here I'm going to install Visual Studio Code, Audacity, Adobe Reader, Handbrake, and several other applications. You can see that it's really very simple, just Choco install and then the name of the package that you want to install. If you're not sure of the package name, you can go to chocolatey.org slash packages and you can search for packages that you can install using Chocolaty. Here I've made my list and except for Camtasia, Chocolaty will always install the latest version of the application that it has packaged in its repository. Now, because I don't have a license for the latest version of Camtasia, I need it to install a previous version. So here I've included the version switch to tell Chocolaty to install a specific version of Camtasia. So all I need to do now is copy those commands into my PowerShell window. And one by one, Chocolaty will install those applications for me. So here you can see now it's installing Visual Studio Code and any dependencies. And now you can see that Chocolaty has moved on to the second application and it's installing Audacity. And Chocolaty will work through that list of applications until it completes the job. 
here you can see Visual Studio Code and Audacity have already been added to my system. So that's it, it's really easy, wasn't it? If you found the content in this video useful today, then please like it and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I'd really appreciate your help in increasing the subscriber numbers so I can dedicate more time to making this kind of content. If you'd like to see more tips and tutorials on how to manage applications on Windows, then please drop me a line in the comments below. Or maybe you'd like me to cover a different package manager. Maybe you know something that works better than chocolatey. And that's it for now. See you next time.